both if they punch you in the room and then that time we'll get to the people on Zoom. Sure, I'll start off by saying, first of all, really proud of this team. I'm proud of the way they responded uh, to, to the coaching. You know, we've talked a lot the last couple of weeks about starting fast, and uh, we were able to do that today. You know, anytime you're able to win on the road in the Big Ten, uh, that's huge. And so for us to be able to come up here and do something, I think that hasn't been done since 1950, which is to win here in this stadium. Definitely proud of the team. Happy to be 4-0. Um, we talked all week long and for the last couple of weeks about getting off to a fast start, and that's what we were able to do. Defense up, came up big early on with the turnovers. We were able to convert those to scores. Um, anytime you come up with turnovers like we did today, it, it really helps you on the offensive side of the ball. The best part about this is that we that, that locker room is still disappointed a little bit that we didn't finish the way we like to, and there's some things that we can get cleaned up. And as I said before, it's always great to clean it up with a win and you know, got to give credit to uh, the players in terms of how they responded and uh, did the things necessary. Um, we're back in the shell next week against Indiana. You know, I hope our fans show up for these kids. They, they've earned the right to have you guys there to support them. And our student section has done their part. And now we've, everybody's got a part to do in there. And I know we're excited with the opportunity to go 5-0 and at home in the shell. And uh, the players are excited about that as well. So uh, with that, I'll open up the questions. Everybody uh, talks about the, the offense, but the defense today came up big with five turnovers. I think you guys now grabbed what, 12 or 15 turnovers in your first four games. It was big. I mean, you know, the defense, the offense, special teams came up big again today. You know, they created some opportunities with the fumble there on the, the, the kickoff return. Our punter pulled one down and, and rushed one for a first down and extend the drive. You know, offensively, we were a little off today, just missing on some things. But defensively, early on, the turnovers were big. And what I'd like to see is those just get off the field a little bit better on third down. Mike, you talked about coming out here in practice about similar to this year. And how should that like, help you guys get off the pass? I mean, what's some other, maybe some other contributing factors to that pass? I mean, players play. The execution early on, the turnovers. Um, you know, we were able to finish those uh, turnovers with touchdowns which helped us. Um, I, I'd love to say that that was the reason why. Um, I can only speculate. We did go back to some good on good stuff this week, um, but I, we also got a better look out of our development team and you know them understanding that their role is to prepare us for the speed of the game. But I don't know if that was the fix, but I'm really happy that we were able to get the turnovers and we were able to convert them to scores early. He was interception there at the end. Kind of what did you see there? I saw him not having field awareness and I would have loved to see him uh, finish it and, and stay in bounds and go score. But it came up big because we gave up some yardage today. But as we got down in that red area, we buckled down and, and, and were able to kind of keep him out of the end zone, per se. So uh, it was big interception there by Heave and big play by our defense. What did you say about the team, the fact that you didn't need three of those pass for 300 yards? I mean, as we as we all know, football is the ultimate team sport. And I think, you know, we picked it up in other areas. You know, as I said earlier, we were just a little bit off for whatever reason with our base offensive systems, whether it was just off on a perimeter block that would have uh, allowed us to maybe create some big plays, maybe off on a few throws. Um, but we showed the balance that we have and the ability that different guys have opportunities and different guys can make plays for us. You know, Roman, uh, you know, he was nicked up a little bit this week and, and it was limited, but some other guys stepped up when we needed them to. Did Delia end up hurting uh, the game? Because I saw him going to the bathroom for a little bit. I think he had to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not <laughs> Island. Michael, what can you say about complimentary football? I mean, you force uh, interception and turn over and down and fumble and switch that shot right after all those. That, that's huge. And that's what we need to do. What I like to see us do, though, is the consistency on offense. You know, I always talk about us being a rhythm team on offense and just for whatever reason, everything was just a little few steps here, a few inches off there, um, which, you know, we'll get that part fixed. You know, as I said, it's great to be able to have to fix it um, coming off of a win and to win on the road in the Big Ten. And this is a tough league. And, you know, you give credit to Michigan State, you give credit to Harlan and the job that he uh, did to get his guys back because they fought today. But I was really proud of our team, the way they started fast, which gave us this opportunity to come out with the W. Fox is home, Baron. 
Hey, Coach, six different rushers, 11 different, 11 different receivers. What does that say about your team's offensive diversity? Well, I mean, well, I mean they bought it they just fought for years. years so uh, understand, understand that. that we play a lot of players. We've recruited depth. We've had the opportunity to, you know, get a lot of guys involved. Um, it's great to see that type of diversity. But, you know, as I said, there's still some things that we got to get cleaned up. Uh, still uh, some things that uh, we'll be able to get fixed here this week. And then with Colton, was that a designed play for him on that point, or was that him kind of seeing an opening? No, I mean, I'm going to take credit for that. Hopefully I'll get coached in a week because I called a punt down inside my own 20. Um, I promise you we didn't call a fake punt down in there, but based on the scheme of the rugby stuff that we do, the rules tell him that if the end and there's no contain to pull it down and go now. I looked at JT, our special teams coordinator, said, man, he needs to be careful with doing that down in our air, uh, area of the field. But, you know, again, players make plays. Colton's one of those guys that he's athletic enough to do it. I'm glad he did it because he was able to extend the drive for us. But um, I cannot take credit for calling a fake punt down in there. Hey, Coach, uh, can you walk me through the Sean Greeley touchdown? Certainly interesting to see him out there kind of in that fullback position. Uh, is that something that that you guys have been working on, kind of getting him, you know, in, in different spots and then obviously he forced the fumble as well? Well, we always try to use the personnel we have uh, have in our program. And, you know, we, we got a bunch of tight ends, but we, we lost some fullback bodies. Sean's one of those athletic guys. You know, he plays as a reserve on defense. He's been a special team uh, guy for us. And because of his athleticism, we've used him and Kobe McDonald the last few games when we've gotten in the goal line. Um, we probably didn't, didn't see it initially because we hadn't thrown him the ball. But, um, you know, he's been back there playing in our goal line package all year long. Uh, we saw a look on tape that allowed us to, to, to call him into the flat area. Leah made a nice, easy throw. And, you know, Sean's one of those athletic guys, and it was great to see him make some plays. Hey, Coach. Uh, Donnell Brown. Uh, came up with that fumble. He contributed in forcing it. I don't think he was credited with it, but he was in on that play. Um, what do you have to say about him? Because he's been making plays each of the last few games. Yeah, you know, I've been happy with his production, you know, but when we brought him here, we brought him here to get after the quarterback. And you know, as I joke with him, he's dropping into space and getting interceptions and doing everything other than getting sacked. So I'd love to see him get after the quarterback a little bit, but he's one of those guys that's always around the ball and you know, he, he's an athletic big guy, so we, we utilize him in a lot of different ways. Um, what I found out is he's, he has a knack for the ball, and, and we need to continue to have him make those plays. Thanks, guys. Well, Sean Greeley, I felt just very skilled. Sean Greeley, Ty Felton, and Tarheep Still. If you have a question, please raise your hand and address through your questions. Too. You know, that last interception you had, you kind of take us through that and just overall, what's the defense five turnovers for us and keep them out of the end of the third quarter? Uh, well, this week we've been missed, so Gino had a lot of ball, you know, creating turnovers and creating uh, more opportunities for the offense. And uh, on that last play, when I picked the pass off, I, uh, my guy, he takes five down the line. I see the, uh, the tackle come out of the block. And I seen the running back right there, so I knew the screen. So I just tried to make a play. He uh, threw it over his head. Well, came right to me. So he kind of collapsed it uh, on the toy. I what happened here. Yeah, made it that way. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> it is. Now, when you see the defense do it today, four spot five how much does that kind of inspire the offense? Uh, it helps a lot because it gives us a lot of opportunities to go score. So that's, as he said, uh, Coach kind of been emphasizing that the defense touched the ball, that offense making play after that. So. It's, it's a blessing. It's very exciting to see those guys catch the ball and play like they were receiving, but it's very exciting. Uh, that's how we got the W today. What do you think that contributed to the fast start offensively after the last couple of weeks where you kind of fell behind? Uh, that's another emphasis we have. Still, uh, starting off fast because the last two weeks we kind of started on really slow, 14 0, starting real loose, but we kind of emphasized all week on starting fast and um, just staying with our tempo and playing with our standards. So we emphasized that all week and then we ended up showing it out on today's game. On the, the touchdown, you want to take us through that, how that unfolded, and how much you've been working on that in practice. Um, well, that was they told me, you know, that was the play going into this week, and uh, so I was, I was prepared. It was just a time and place opportunity. We were close to the goal line, so called my name, and you know, it was uh, 
a good surprise for me. And you also, of course, fumble just your thoughts on the defense play and how you're able to control the game throughout and everything that way. Yeah, I mean, like uh, he was saying, we put an emphasis on getting hands on the ball and uh, taking a lot of shots on the ball. So um, I just kind of – on that one, I just kind of put my head down and got lucky and knocked the ball out. So Any of the three you talk about the defense, because it seems like a lot of the focus has been on the offense, you know, that you guys – number one in total offense and everything, but the defense is really been coming up big with these turnovers. Uh, I would say really, uh, we have a lot of guys that are hungry to make plays. A lot of guys that win shoulder to go out there uh, make plays for the team to win. And then also, uh, the leader of the defense, uh, for the beat up, he's really, uh, he's really the guy that want to go out there and play for, play hard for. And, um, every day, guys just come to the facility ready to work, ready to achieve more. So I feel like we got a good group of guys. <laughs> you know, we go out there and make plays and we really have fun together. We got a great bond. Uh, and that's something we really do over the years. Bernie, you guys have heard the last scene come out of the, the locker room after the win. Is that because the first big year since 1950 or kind of what, what contributed to that kind of celebration? Uh, <laughs> Answer anyone. <laughs> uh, we kind of found out when we were uh, their homecoming game kind of late. So uh, I kind of had a little bit of to it when we ended up getting the W's. So. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go to Emmett on Zoom. Hey, just a quick question for Sean. I'm curious. Uh, when was the last time you scored a touchdown in a football game? Can you remember off the top of your head? <laughs> um, probably senior year of high school, so like four and a half, five years ago, somewhere in there. We'll go to Varun on Hey, Ty, wanted to ask, with the way that you guys are able to spread the ball around on offense, what's it like being a receiver in a scheme where, you know, 10 different guys caught a pass today? I mean, it's very exciting because you know that uh, even when I get stuck, I have a, I have another guy behind me that can do the job too. So it's just very exciting to see everybody move fast, and it's very exciting to see uh what we practice just come out into fruition on Saturday. So I would just say it's very exciting. And it's uh, very good for the other team. Is everyone good? Right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank you, guys. <laughs>